What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? My collect tail. Let's see what we finna get. I should like make this higher or something because you know not enough room to really shuffle like that let me see hold on okay i made it higher but um oh i like that let's see what's going on and get down in the, in, the, in the going on world okay it's a lot going on whoo child it's a lot going on it is that's why i be taking motherfucking breaks like mm-mm he want my number and I hit him with the mm mm. You want my energy and I hit you with the mm mm. <laughs> you want my help and I hit you with the mm mm. You want my advice and I hit you with the mm mm. Cause you don't listen. You want me to save a hoe and mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. I'ma keep hitting you with the mm mm. No. Somebody here needs to really pull back their energy as well as I know I do. Look, you can't change everybody. You can't educate everybody. You can't feel for everybody. You can't change their perspective. It, it is what it is. Many people have many different outlooks. They have many different personas, pers personalities. They have many different... <sighs> oh, shit. Look, the new moon focus will be space. Y'all want my energy and I had to hit you with the mm mm. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's like the more I get deeper into the spirituality and whatever else I am, we didn't establish that I'm more than what I am. Child. Oh, child. It's a lot going on. But plus what I am. Right? But um, I've been losing my train of thought lately, baby. What in the hell? <laughs> Maybe that spirit way of uh, letting me know to trust what I'm about to say, but don't say it. Mm. Trust it, but don't say it because it ain't going to fit with all. It actually, you know, what spirit just told me it actually confuses y'all. Because you guys get into... When I channel your name, your birthday, whatever, I can channel a favorite number of yours. You could be like, oh my God, my divine masculine is here. My divine masculine is coming, baby. You making it fit. Just because I said Lanice or Jasmine and in the same breath I said divine masculine is coming, you needed to discern me. You needed to discern whether the information was right for you or not because a piece of that information may have been just for your healing and for you to take back your information because y'all know how I channel. I channel all day long. I channel in different sections. You got to catch each. Like each card is a different section that I can channel. I can say you need space from everybody and just need to focus on a new moon. You see how I just motherfucking just, you see how I did that, right? But then you take the focus on a new moon and trust in divine masculine, but you don't take the need and space from him. You guys are picking and choosing which information to take heed to and actually coexist with. And I don't think that's healthy for you. This is when you get into, you just told me my divine masculine was coming back last week. No, I did not. Nobody's ever told me that. I'm just giving an example. Maybe a reader, uh, maybe you told a reader like that or something. But this is just an example. When you guys read and listen to these readings, right? You have to know what part of the story is your own. It's not going to resonate for everyone, especially if it's general. Okay, if it's not a personal reading between you and I, it's not going to... You feel me? It ain't going to mesh. Um, you have to take bits and pieces of it to fit your life and your story. You don't, you're not taking the space away from Divine Masculine, but... You trusting in the process. How? When you steady hitting him up all day long and he's not healing and you're not healing and it's just not happening. So somebody needs to take a step back. Mm -mm. You want me to give you my energy? I hit him with the mm -mm. I'm just I like I keep hearing that song like no. No. You want me to heal while healing you? I'm going to hit you with the mm -mm. just take a step back. Okay.
take a step. The sun will shine. The sun will definitely shine on these motherfucking lies is what I'm hearing. I just seen another card. I put it back too. Secrets had came out. But I had put it back because maybe it had flipped out wrong. But I seen it. I seen it. Take a step back so you can know which secret is connected to your own. <laughs> Spirit said. <laughs> because... You have a knot of coins that is disloyal to the cause, disloyal to the loyalty, disloyal to the story, disloyal to you trying to even, even if, even if you wanted to think about taking a space away from him, he's disloyal to you even having your own space. You think it's cute. You think, oh, he's so in love with me. He don't want me to go nowhere. He don't want to be without me. No, baby girl. That is obsession. <laughs> that is abduction. <laughs> that is manipulation. <laughs> and when you know when I get in the rhyme and I get in the motherfucking chiming, baby. Come on. Come on. I wonder if I took my Claritin today. Did I not like take it yesterday neither? It's just not working? No. Okay. But I'm having a little trouble breathing. It's my, my nostrils. Ooh, stuffy. Okay. Um, Baby girl. Somebody, somebody is being called by baby girl by their father. And I'm coming to you as like a father figure, I suppose, and with the way I'm, I'm, I'm speaking to you. Um, you get called baby girl a lot, and he only does this so he can emphasize with you and and really get you to trust his word. Your father or a father figure, uncle, it could be an older cousin, it can be an older brother, it doesn't matter who it is. This person literally carries you throughout these heartbreaks. Your brother is carrying you throughout these heartbreaks. Your brother is your world. You are your brother's world. He definitely cares for you dearly. He wants the best for you. You've actually gone down the road of, I see drugs. I see pills. I see liquor. I see a very hard turmoil, fucking high school. I, I see it all, okay? You may be younger on the younger side, maybe 22, 23, just coming in into your, um, you know, your adulthood. Because let's, let's keep it real. 23, we still young as shit. We don't know shit. Shit, I'm 31, and I don't die. You know everything. But see, Spirit keep telling me, bitch, that ain't for you. Stop saying that. <laughs> oh, my bad, y'all. But just for people who are high priests and high priests out there, the information is already in you. We just need to reactivate it. We need to regenerate it. We need to, mm, okay, get into it, baby, because the information is already in us. <laughs> uh, okay. But I said, girl, you're so silly. I love to laugh. Um, <laughs> y'all funny they said we know that's your healing method it may be shit it helps others heal too I'm, I'm, I'm glad shit you know but this light will shine upon the secrets okay you need space and you need to look new moon keeps coming out new moon and full moon i don't know which i need a moon calendar i was thinking about buying one from amazon because i have this app but i don't really use the app so much you know when you buy things and you you um download things that you really don't use it's just taking up space just delete the shit that's for somebody specific um but there's some secrets and confusion around this moon okay and around this person surrounding you to be exact it's surrounding you um there's a father figure that try to lighten the situation and carries you as a load because they don't want you going through the burdens and the emotions and feelings and the withdrawals and shit oh withdrawals and the urge to pick up a bottle of liquor this is for somebody specific even if you don't have addictions you can be addicted to motherfucking badass health you can be addicted to motherfucking badass motherfucking um relationships you can be addicted to yelling arguing fighting you can be addicted to anything that's just not drugs y'all you can have an intervention for anything maybe somebody's addicted to motherfucking making people feel belittled oh you never know okay but what i'm saying is there's a lot of burdens that you have this i'm getting a, a younger female hispanic dark hair or brown hair brown eyes green eyes i heard l'oreal yesenia yasmine Jasmine, Jasmine, Yasmine, Yesenia, Yesenia, Anya. I just butch, butchered that. Yesenia, I, it's something with an L. Yesenia, Anya, or something like that. It's cute, but I can't say it right now. Then we have Yesenia. We have Yester 
Esther, Essie, Roberta. I heard Ricardo. Maybe your brother's name Ricardo. Yes, Spirit is saying yes. Your brother's name is Ricardo. And you're Roberta. All your siblings have R's. And if it's not their first name, it's their middle name. I heard Renee, Irene. Mariana or Maria. Mary Cell, last name. So... Nope, Nancy. Nina, Nini. Mm. Um, so we have the Knight of Coins. Let's explain the Knight of Coins here. Let's get a call for the Knight of Coins, y'all. You are not forgiving this Knight of Coins. No. You know you you need to forgive them. This is why this is in the in between. But you're not you're holding on to this this energy. You're holding on to this secret and confusion. You're holding on to something that this person said or done to you. Ooh, baby, I just got hungry as shit. I hate that. Here's the water. Um. You need to forgive, and you need to also forgive yourself. Because you think since you went through this, you put yourself through this, the tongue, this is for somebody specific, the tongue felt nice at the time. However, take it however you take it. It can be this person licking your wounds. It can be this person licking you, whatever, you know. It can be this person. It can be sexual. It can be emotional. It can be mentally. This person licked your wounds. It, it's not all sexual. Y'all know when I say when I say it, okay? They could have licked your mind and this made you give in to them and then they started to poke and pry on you and 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 poke you some more and hurt you some more and but that licking of the wounds they'll they'll open a wound but they'll lick it right back up wouldn't they this is for somebody real motherfucker specific and it sounds like a karmic situation spirit is saying yes and no this is a maybe for karmic situations okay oh god it's, i got chills on that when i inhaled i think you guys need to breathe I swear said we all need to breathe. <laughs> I think this person is definitely disloyal to the cause and you need to focus on the new moon, okay? To bring space between you and this person. Look, ooh, come on. Look at how both of you are not together. There's nothing but magic, new moon focus or energy because not everybody uses magic now and not, it's not on everybody's path, right? So whatever's on your path using Reiki, healing energy, whatever the fuck, or maybe you're just a regular ass person that just want to live happier. So you just meditate from time to time or every day, whatever the fact it is, okay? There's distance between you and this person because you need to focus on exactly what you need to focus on. And there's space. There's some big ass space. This is a big ass space between this person could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, because we have earth out here on the deck. Oh, child. Then we have the Ten of Wands. Um, this is this is this person gives you so many fucking burdens. It's fiery burdens, too, because uh, wands is all about fire signs, right? Fiery energy, fire element. It's it's. It fuels you and it makes you pissed off and one of these guns is about to be cocked and motherfucking blown away, bitch. And it may hit you or him or anybody, bystanders around you. You need to forgive this person, make space in between this person and trust the process. And, ooh, and baby, trust in what your motherfucking, your brother is telling you. It's not the fact that he's just being a brother. He, you know, that overly overbearing brotherly love, looking out for the little sister, the little bros and shit like that. This person is really telling you what he's actually experienced and also what he knows from firsthand about this uh, reverse ass energy, my babe. Come on, come on, come on now. It's time to take accountability for what you allow this person to lick and then reopen. How can you fucking sew up a womb and then they're salting the motherfucker again to relick it with your nasty, stanky ass breath? Like, come on, you're not even fucking helping me heal. You actually opening all my fucking wounds. Your shit is toxic. It's stank. You need a TikTok, a breath mat, a tip baby shit stanky ass motherfucker come on now change is inevitable <sighs> y'all 
Y'all know when I get my personality out there, y'all know. Because you so fucking sad. You need to reflect on the anger. I just said you was angry. You got so many burdens because of this person and you're angry. But you still allow them to what? Move on your duality. Spirit is asking you to seek a new beginning to create a new direction. Okay, breathe. Your dreams can come true if you take in the healing energies from Earth. Maybe you need some crystals. Tourmaline is what I just heard. Obsidian is what I just heard. So Celtic, so something, citrine, Celtrine or something. Um, because your vision is clouded over the secrets. Look, it's reversed. My deck is never reversed. This is a sign. Your vision is clouded over the secrets. You think this person needs to come clean to you when, baby girl, you already know. Stop doing that. Show gratitude for the rebirth that you're about to have. What is this? And let it go. And Spirit said that again. I don't know who this is for, but you need to. You see, I'm not cussing at you. I usually cuss out my other, <laughs> my other videos, right? This is because you really need to really understand this, okay? You think when a person comes at you and cusses at you and treats you wrong, you think it's love. Your brother done already told you, love carries you. Love holds you. Love brightens you love completes you love looks after you love unconditional love okay this person has been yelling and cussing at your ass you've been a couple of bitches you've been some dirty ass uh, i don't even want to repeat what the fuck i just heard repeat it yes this because this needs to reach somebody you've been a dirty ass hispanic b-i-t-c-h and that shit just really pissed me the fuck off right now. Spirit said, don't let it piss me off. Just continue to get this message. Okay. Y'all know when my energy is, is different in videos, I need to come across a certain person different because you've been through some shit. You think whoever this motherfucker is, he could be Hispanic as well. No. For some, yes. For some, that last part did not, will not resonate with you. But for this particular energy that I'm speaking with, you may have piercings on your face. You may have tattoos. You may um, draw your eyebrows. Uh, I don't want to say it wrongly, right? Because we all respect other uh, there's cultures, especially the black one. You know? <laughs> but what I'm saying is, y'all know, the, um, I don't want to say it. What? How do I say it, y'all? What is the word? Um, I think Heine means beautiful or something like that. Um, you're like a, you draw your eyebrows a certain way because it expresses who you are. You are def definitely, definitely deep into your Hispanic culture. You are literally the epitome of Hispanic Mexicano, I don't know if y'all say that, probably, literally, okay, like 13, what is it, 1833 on the clock, I'm trying to describe you, you know how some Hispanic girls have darkened eyebrows and they draw it a certain way, that's what you do, that's what you do, um, I don't know the word, is it like, what is the fucking word? It's on the right tip of my motherfucking tongue. Spirit, spell it for me. <laughs> spell it. Spell it for me. It's something with a C. It starts with a C. Okay, we have C here. Next letter, please, Spirit. We have A. Okay, next word, Spirit. I mean, next letter. My bad. C A I. Are you spelling a name? Oh, spirit is spelling a name. Okay. C A I. What's the next letter? Oops. 
Next, C A I. What is next, Spirit? We have D. C A I D. I seen E. And then I seen an N. I think it's about to go to an N. It is. Cadis. Kate. K Hold on. C A I D E N. Caden. K is that what you just spelled right now, Spirit? Caden. This is for somebody very specific. Caden. Cholo. Cholo, there we go. You, you, you actually, you like the life of a cholo. Like you love, like that's exactly what it is. This is who your personality is. It's really cute. Sometimes you wear your hair up in two ponytails with the, um, the little bangs going on the side of your face. I see exactly who you are. You wear baggy pants, tight little shirts, chains, maybe. It's a cute look that you have. This is for someone very specific. You're a little misguided though. You're, uh, you think since people are yelling and cussing at you that that's love. Um, you may also have been abused in, in, in past life or this life. And this is why you have so many bruises and wounds. And you feel like since this person is, is not hitting you, they don't love you. That's not, that's completely wrong. Spirit is saying yes. And that is completely wrong. Okay. Something about you creating a new begin, beginning to seek something else. You've been really emotionally, physically abused. And I also heard sexually assaulted. You need healing. You need to create a new beginning to seek healing. Oh my God. Something uh, and breathe is at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is for some, some for somebody very specific. I hope you reach this message. I'm going to energetically put it out there that you reach this message. Now it's Caden, the person that's going to reach this message. Yes. Is Caden a female? Yes. Is this is how Caden's life is? Yes. Does she live in L.A.? Possibly. Possibly. Um, could be somewhere in the Midwest as well. I heard New York. Austin, Texas. Um, okay, so when someone loves you, your brother is trying to show you what love is, okay? It's not this fucked up ass knight of coins. This, this is a knight of coins. This is a knight. You want a knight or you want a king? Knights are all about action low key, but a king sit back and reap the benefits. A king don't do shit but wave his motherfucking hand and set his authority and know what he done already did as a knight got him to that kingship. This is a knight that I don't think will ever change, okay? Caden, your name is cute, by the way. I don't think this, and if this resonates with other people, if you've been abused in emotionally, mentally, physical relationships, and this resonates with you too, give this uh, video a thumbs up. But I'm specifically channeling Kaden so she can come across this video whenever she needs to. Okay, whenever it's it's in your cards for you to come across this, this person that you're dealing with, his name is Aiden. And you think since it rhymes, it uh, something like that, it's either Aiden, Eden, it's something with an N also in his name. So if your name is Caden and you have a cholo look about you and you're literally the epitome of what you think and feel is your culture. This is, you know, this is your opinion and shit like that. Don't ever let nobody break you. Um, this message is definitely for you. I'm going to need you to create another beginning because these burdens that you have, you also cut yourself. I see you you cut around your thighs or your knees, sometimes your arms, because it's, it's, it's better to hide on the upper arm rather than the wrist part. Yeah, you have a lot of things going on. It's like if you don't feel pain, then it's not love. You need to fix that, okay? And I'm going to end this right here because the message is loud and clear. You feel like if you don't feel pain, it's not love. And that's not love.